things. So this time, we'll do this three times. And you always only need to remember where you're coming to, right about there. So I'll pull this one towards that dot. The brush drags, and I'm on paper, so it'll drag a little bit. Pull that in. And then all those are headed towards that one little dot. Again, don't press on it too hard and make everything solid white. So, no pattern. Right? All I want to do now is each row is smaller than the row before it because I'm working towards the middle of the flower. So I just simply like fish scales, wherever they cross, they get a petal. Again, I'm pulling towards that imaginary center. And because I didn't make that too white, you can see the overlapping layers. And then the middle, just don't make that one as big as the one that I just did, the layer I just did, and pull it in. Now I've got all the back layers in. I've got three layers. I now connect these two I did in the middle. Just like I did that small bud, connect them and pull them down. So this you can do. There's your center here and there's your middle. And then I bring this one across, maybe about halfway, three quarters, and pull it down just a bit further. Do the same thing on the other side. Catch that back row, bring that around. Pull that down. And there's your rolls. There's your roll. You've got multi-layers, you've got your center, you've got highlighting, you've got shading. And you decide, well, this needs a skirt, but you just need a skirt. And this way, you can make it large, small, you can make it whatever size you want to make it because you're just doing three, two, one, connect the two, connect the outer row. Now my, my imaginary line is right about it, right there where it's going to connect. Mm -hmm. So I dribble out here, there's my dribble again. And I'm going to pull towards that imaginary line. That gives me all my direction. So I'll just head any line that I pull in in that direction. Do one on the other side. And on the video, I teach you five different flowers and a bunch of other stuff, all of it freehand because I break it down logically so that you see what the next step should be. Once you get, once you do that enough times, it's memorized and you don't, you don't look at anything. Excuse me. So let's just do one big one across here. Now this one you're going to change directions three times because you're going to pull up towards the middle. Then you're going to have to angle this way if you're going to, you know, head towards that imaginary place. Same thing with this one. And you're not so concerned about being really neat with those petals because the more uneven you are, the more attractive the flowers going to be. A little more natural. Then you think, well, that looks nice, but it looks like it's just sitting in the middle of that. So I think it needs a little more. <laughs> Don't you? Yes, I do. yes, yes, we do. Now, see that nice little place that's sticking out right there? Mm -hmm. Right, if I catch that, and I, what I'm doing is this is the highlight, and just drag it off, and you think, oh, well, that's nice, we've got a big fat line on there. I'm going to now grab this and pull it into what I just did. Grab that, pull it into what I just did. Grab that, pull it into what I just did. Grab that, pull it into what I just did. Grab that, pull it into what I just did. Grab that, grab that, and now I'm back to the same line that I started with on that petal. And what you see is the petal falling away. With no, and you can change sides. Each rose comes out different. And if you see on this one, right here's the main flower. I told you I did the same thing. Here, it's the same flower, just less petals. Here, it's that bud, but I did two, three, connected across the front. Here, it's just two, connected across the front, and we end up with the first one. And what you have is a spray. So when I'm doing that, I don't need to have a pattern, because I'm just simply going to change each one as I'm creating it. And every time you do it, it's going to be a little different, because you aren't following the pattern.